what is up? Welcome back to my channel, my fellow hominids. How are you today? I am doing okay. I am a little disappointed that I'm not seeing more change on the scale. I have weighed in on Monday at 149.8, so not really much change, if any at all, and that's kind of the name of the game sometimes. I mean, I should just be happy it's not going up, right? Yeah, so I was thinking about, you know, why might this be? You know, why isn't my body one of those body types that can just, in a linear straight line, just lose weight? Why aren't I one of those types of people? Well, I don't know. Could be genetics, but um, I was having hormonal fluctuations last week. So that might have contributed to why my weight was just kind of fluctuating all around the place last week. Anyway, I've also been taking a supplement, a fiber supplement that's pretty... What's the word I'm looking for? Strong. And yeah, my body hasn't uh, sat very well with it yet. So I don't know if that's contributing to any of this. Another thing is I did overeat a bit last week. Um, I say a bit because according to my logging, I didn't eat back a full 3,500 calories worth. So I should have technically lost something. I've lost about half a pound according to the math. But when is the math ever kind to us? Never. What I have decided to do as well, because I found myself so hungry last week, it was so hard to control my cravings, it was so hard to just ignore how hungry I was late in the evening. So I have decided to up my calories already, but this sort of phase is me figuring out what works for my body. I want to figure out uh, the caloric intake I can eat at to lose weight while being able to exercise at the rate that I do, which is uh, relatively high. I do like to do a lot of cardio, I do weights. Again, not as much now that I'm at home, but I have a pretty high exercise level and I need my exercise, okay? It is my antidepressant, it is keeping me sane in this whole pandemic and I need to keep doing it. I have been considering trying to up my um, lists exercise, so low intensity, uh, oh geez, what's it? low intensity steady state? Low intensity steady state exercise. So I'm considering upping the amount that I do that. I decided to up my calories about 130, so this will put me at 390. So as long as I can stay underneath uh, this caloric rate, I should, in theory, according to the math, I should lose uh, three quarters of a pound every week, um, so 0. 0.75 pounds. Hello. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see how this next week goes. I've already been following that for a few days now. It definitely feels better. It definitely feels easier. That's an extra basically large snack that I can have in a day. So I have been trying to make that something like oatmeal that's very fibrous, very fulling. Fulling? very filling and my hope is that I can get used to this caloric range and then eventually over time lower that to lose more weight. So I would like to lose about 20 pounds by October and that should be, according to the math, very feasible. Uh, even at, I think even half a pound a week that's possible. So we'll see. I think I've realized as well that I really need to address my negative self-talk, which is a nice way to put it. I'd say it's more like self-hate and self-loathing. I really need to address this because I have come to uh, a more recent realization that rather than helping me along, I think it's actually a detriment because every time I look at my body and I say, I hate you, I hate this, I wish I could change this, I wish I could be anyone else but me. I think it's just making me more upset and more depressed and that's probably going to make me emotionally eat more. If I can break some of this cycle and if I can try to start talking to myself more kindly, 
even if I don't believe it right now, it feels silly to look in the mirror and go, you're beautiful, you're perfect the way you are, and it feels ridiculous because I don't believe it. I, I don't. And it's sad, but it's true. So I'm, I'm going to try to work on that more as well. I'm thinking of getting a journal and if I do have any emotional eating episodes, um, then I'll enter that in the journal, try to figure out why I'm connecting these foods to emotional eating. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'm also a boredom eater. Uh, that might be tied into emotional eating. I don't really know. But again, I don't think I have a binge eating issue because it's never uncontrolled. Um, it's just that I crave things more when I'm upset um, or even when I'm happy. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next week. Hey,